okay guys we'll quickly go through this pseudo code what will the output of this pseudo code be right so if you can see here we have a for loop which starts here and ends here we have a condition over here right so when you see x value has been initialized to 0 i value starts from 1 2 3 and 4 right so if i is greater than 2 then it will go for up x value with i value so which means 1 is greater than 2 no 2 is greater than 2 no 3 is greater than 2 yes so x value will get updated by 3 plus 4 so it is going to be 3 plus 4 it is going to be 7 option a is the right answer we'll go to the second question if you can see here we have a string as an input which has been stored in a str variable and they have given it as i equal to 1 to string length so please consider this as 0 to uh, like l length minus 1 okay so array index starts from 0 right so please consider it like that in that case if you go with considering that then it will go for print it as hello okay if you really consider it as 1 to string length then once it reaches actually it will go for print e l l o then when you try to access the last uh, like nth uh, length index which is not available it will give the error okay so we'll go to the next question third question what will be the output of this pseudo code right again we have nested for loop here the outer loop runs from 1 to 4 internal loop runs for 1 to 4 but exactly like we have option 12 10 and all and they are printing inside so this question should be how many number of times in this inside is going to be printed right so i 1 2 3 4 similarly j is going to be 1 2 3 4 so what is the condition the loop this run for 1 2 3 4 this run for i to 4 right so which means it will print uh, like it will print inside here inside here inside here inside here four times next time i value is to show it will go for print three times next time it is go for print two times next it will go for print one times if you add it four plus three seven plus two nine plus one ten times so ten is the right answer okay so going to the next question what will be the output of this pseudo code we have a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 c is equal to 5 and the expression over here right so 2 into 3 is going to be 6 6 is less than 5 is a false the once we get false so the next condition we need not to check so it will go for print it as false right so option a is the right answer okay we'll go to the next question and the last question for this set if you can see here what will be the output of this pseudo code right we'll just go for have a quick look at this for loop starts here ends here we are taking a decision if it i value is even it is going to subtract it by one i value is odd it will go for add so if you see 1 2 3 4 5 this is the i value which is changing right so x value is initially equal to 10 and uh, when it is odd it will add right so it will become 12 uh, so, uh, when it is even it will subtract so it will become 11 again it will add 2 so it will become 13 it will subtract by 1 it will become 12 again when it is odd it will add 2 so it is going to be 14 is the right answer hope you have understood thank you